we've been drinking, this is the co-main event. This is Bryce Mitchell versus Dan Ige at featherweight, 145 pounds. My pick is going to be Bryce Mitchell. My pick is Bryce Mitchell as well. Uh, do you, yeah. I'll, I'll start. Yeah. Um, Bryce Mitchell is – we don't need to say that he's a wrestler. He's kind of my guy. He's been my guy since Barbosa, and that will be uh, etched in my brain like as awesome as it gets for like a fight in general. Yeah. Um, he knocked him down. Thug nasty. <laughs> thug he nasty. Thug nasty. Him. He raps. He turned. He turned himself into a verb. Actually, you know what? Thug nasty was on our first podcast ever. Yeah. Remember that? It was about like nine to ten months ago, brilliant. like last November. That's crazy. He got. He lost to Topuria. Yeah. But he was our pick, and he's our guy, dude. He was. He's he was, always been our guy. Yeah, yeah. It puts the pressure. Doesn't have a lot of power on the hands, but he did knock down Edson Barboza two fights ago. We were high on him. We still kind of are high on him, and he just he puts the pressure. He, he, he knows how to throw some punches at fake punches and go for takedowns. He just doesn't stop with the pressure with the wrestling. Yeah. Um, for Ige, um, his key to victory is takedown defense. If he's able to stifle at least at least some of these uh, takedowns and use his uh, power and hand speed, he, he's going to have a chance in this. But if he, if he yeah. can't stop it, it's going to be a huge, huge problem because that's all Bryce Mitchell does is the pressure and the wrestling. Yeah, it's basically that. If Mitchell can't get the takedown, then Ige wins. If if uh, that's it, <laughs> that's it. But uh, you know, <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> are we still talking? Uh, what are we talking for? <laughs> Mitchell is minus one ninety, one hundred ninety to make a hundred. You know, he's got a slightly better ranking. He's beaten slightly better guys. But Ige's, Ige, Ige's, You know, he's a good striker, man. And but the problem is, about three fights ago, he fought Evloev. Um, Mo- Movskar Evloev and it wasn't I mean Evloev's a really good wrestler talented fighter obviously a guy who's in the top five I think now but it's not the fact that Ige lost it's it's the way that he got taken down a little too easily without putting up much of a fight and it's one of those things where it's like if you don't have that fight to try and fight off the wrists you know just have some will head against placement. it head plays you know standing too close in the second and third rounds you know like Ige likes to in the first round keep the distance the second round he gets a little closer etc if you don't want to keep the distance if you don't want to throw feints and, and make sure you're you know uh, stop, you, you stopping the wrestlers. The yeah. yeah, man, against a wrestler, a caliber of Mitchell, not saying Mitchell is Evloev's, Evloev's level, but Mitchell is good. He's a strong grappler. You know, he can take... Aggressive. Guys who, very aggressive. Dude, guys who don't get taken down like like uh, uh, Barbosa, he can take them down. That's a high skill level of, of, of wrestling, man. So Ige doesn't have the, the takedown defense of Edson Barbosa, and he doesn't have the power of Edson Barbosa to keep Mitchell. And by the way, Mitchell knocked down Edson Barbosa. Mitchell really only lost to Topuria, and Topuria is like slated to fight for the title next. Yes. Volkanovski keeps mentioning his name that he's going to probably fight him next if he doesn't move up to fight. Uh, Topuria is amazing. F-155. So, yeah, Topuria is amazing, man. Like, kept the distance well, was like in and out in range, hitting hard to the body. Like, he was doing so many things right. Then he beat Emmett, who's a top five, perennial top five. So, Mitchell lost only to the best. By the way, that so. was a dismantling of a fight. It was. And Mitch, I was so <laughs> rooting for Mitchell because I'm such a Mitch, Bryce Mitchell fan. Yeah. Um, yeah, we like his uh, energy, yeah, his personality. This, so this might be a bias, bias yeah. pick, but I'm still picking Mitchell because of this pressure. Yeah, I mean, Ige, Ige, hey, listen, Ige is a ranked fighter. He's top 10 as well. Mitchell is also ranked. It's just it's just style matchups here. You know, like Mitchell doesn't throw with power, even though obviously he knocked down Barbosa. But Ige, Ige is just one of those things where it's like, has he improved in, in one year? It's been about one year since the Evloev fight where he got taken down at will. It, has he improved enough? We all, he's only fought two strikers in the last year, so it's all, you know we don't we haven't seen it. He hasn't been tested. But well, guess what? You're gonna get tested by someone like Bryce Mitchell because Bryce Mitchell that's he's a specialist. That's he's what he in does. your face in your face. He's not he's unafraid and he knows how to keep distance actually really well while still putting pressure, which is a, which is a hard thing to do. But he he showed he can do it against the best like Barbosa. Barbosa's winning even today in the top ten. So Mitchell, Mitchell is is, is still high on our radar, and, and yeah, we're going with Mitchell that he's going to get the the wrestling, the takedowns, and he's got he's got solid top control. And so um, yeah, yeah, going with Mitchell should be interesting first round, obviously because Ige does have power and he's got good balance in the first. But yeah, going with Mitchell, guys.